करें Now for something completely different. Hey, hey, welcome to Minor Thoughts. I'm Don Hakla and today you're in for something completely different. This is uh, normally a gaming channel and I do gaming videos. You can check them out, subscribe, whatever. But today I am going to be roasting coffee. Uh, there are geeks of all sorts, and I am also a coffee roasting geek. Uh, several years ago, my girlfriend and I uh, invested in coffee roasting, and we started out with a popcorn popper, and then we moved up to the Fresh Roast SR700, uh, and it's awesome. It uh, is all computer controlled and connected, uh, you'll see here. In a short video. But it is pretty loud. So uh, we wanted to upgrade again and get uh, something that we could roast more. And what we found was the Be More 1600 Plus. And uh, that's what I'm going to roast for you today. Actually, I'm roasting for a family member. Uh, some Colombian and Guatemalan, and I hope she enjoys it. Here we go. Also, you cannot adult until coffee. Keep that in mind. Here is the Be More 1600 Plus. I recently upgraded it um, from the 1600. Um, there's the old panel and put the new panel in here uh, in manual mode it has more control I can check temperatures change the heat change the drum speed um, so it's got more options more control which means better rows but uh, just for time's sake and uh, just to simplify things today we're just gonna do a basic half pound roast um, that picture you see there in the background uh, that's a cat top hat cat drawn by a, a Byron a Rempel you need to check him out he's awesome I've got several art pieces by him he also drew me as a zombie uh, so check him out he's on Google Plus and Facebook I'll link in the description anyway back to coffee so what we got here is the 1600 plus I've already got a batch half pound batch of Colombian loaded up you got a chaff tray there and uh, these are my cleaning things um, some canned air to clean that out and I also use this uh, little dirt devil shop vac to clean it out it's, uh, coffee roasting produces chaff which is the, the shell off of the uh, coffee beans so you need a way to clean those up and uh, away we go close that up and what we need to do is a half pound and then start can see it in there rotating pretty soon you'll see the heating elements begin to heat up we'll turn out the light here so you can see them get some coffee roasting going on now it usually takes uh, a bit to get to first crack uh, usually more than the 12 minutes that are allotted so what I'll do is I'll add the maximum amount of time 
and usually what I do is after roasting's done, I will put the coffee in a jar, mason jar like this. Uh, it's going to be shipped out in um, Ziploc baggies uh, just for shipping's sake, and um, yeah, so we don't have broken glass within the coffee. Uh, and it's easier to ship. That's how I get my coffee shipped from places oh, Here we go such as Happy Mug This is the Guatemalan Huey Huey Guaya. Uh, I probably mangled that um, We also get coffee here from Sweet Maria's and this is also some Guatemalan Hue Hue El Para, Para I don't know how to pronounce that help me out people but anyway Sweet Maria's I, I like what they do they uh, they list the flavor profile there on their um, baggie you can see this uh, usually roast from city to full city plus which is is medium to dark um, that's that's the way it tastes the best they say it's got complex sweetness raw honey turbinado sugar that's turbinado sugar to muscovado sugars cane juice molasses hints subtle fruit tones good for espresso that is espresso. No X in there. Don't call it espresso because it's not espresso. It's espresso. Still roasting here. Max heat on the elements there. And 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes left. Anyway, I got into this coffee roasting thing and uh, discovered that it's it's just an awesome hobby uh, <laughs> I love coffee uh, my girlfriend and I we met at a coffee shop uh, just about four years ago over four years ago um, and it's been awesome ever since coffee roasting is something that we really enjoy doing together and uh, just enjoying coffee uh, and we've talked about eventually starting a business. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot involved. Uh, we would need a bigger roaster than this. And uh, I'll show you a quick picture here of the next upgrade of roasters. And that's called the Hot Top. And the Hot Top. Uh, does quite a bit more um, the thing at the bottom is a cooling tray uh, which uh, the commercial roasters have huge cooling trays but they can do massive amounts of coffee at once with this roaster um, we can do up to a pound but for best roasts uh, they suggest just a half pound at a time and and that's what I'm going to be doing today so I'm just gonna let this roast along and when we when I hear first crack I will slow down the video and let you hear Okay, so what we have here is it's called unattended roaster. Uh, it's a new feature and you've got only so many seconds to press the start button. Otherwise it'll start cooling 
and what you end up with is a very light roast so we don't want that I'll press the start button and that resumes the roast uh, does it like 75 percent into the roast and um, it's just a new feature just so uh, the beans don't get burnt you know uh, some people uh, tend to walk away from their roaster but you know coffee roasting is it's a science I mean it uh, I still have a lot to learn and you you really got to pay attention to it you got to pay attention to the smells uh, if there's smoke then you're over roasting your coffee beans um, and pretty soon here you might be able to start to hear first crack uh, you can see the beans are getting pretty darn dark uh, and what I'm going to roast these at is a uh, full city maybe a full city plus which is medium medium dark roast oh, can you hear that that's our first crack just now starting listen close kinda sounds like popping popcorn uh, what it is is the uh, the water getting uh, cooked out of the beans uh, so they're expanding and uh, what I'm gonna do another feature of this thing it's called the Rosetta Stone you press C and it'll reset the timer for two minutes and ten seconds uh, you press that when you hit uh, first crack and it will start uh, the last part of the roast they say the Rosetta Stone, I don't know why they call it that, but for this roaster they call it Rosetta Stone. They say two minutes is usually what it takes to get to second crack. Now you don't want to go too far into second crack uh, because you could uh, I quickly will burn the beans. Um, so they're getting really dark now I can hit C again and uh, reset the timer but I'm probably not going to do that I'm just going to let it run out of its time listen for second crack and if it starts I can immediately stop the roast by pressing uh, focus I don't know if you can see it there. The cool button. And that will immediately stop the roast. Second crack kind of sounds like Rice Krispies. Not as pronounced as first crack. Uh, slightly more muted popping sounds. And it's pretty dark. I think that's what we're going to go with starting to wind down on the time and the thing about this machine is uh, you can't really control the cooling um, so there it is there it is so you if you hear a uh, second crack at all hear that Rice Krispies. <laughs> anyway, if you hear second crack, you want to press the cool button as soon as possible because uh, it'll continue to roast them while in this roaster. Um, and you, you don't want to go too far into second crack. 45 seconds at max. It's still continuing second crack, but it is cooling. Now, something I can do to aid in cooling 
of this roast is to open the door. Um, you just got to be careful because chaff can fly everywhere, and I'll show you that. But you can't uh, you can't go into cooling, or you cannot open the door unless it's uh, a minute and 30 seconds into cooling. See, he's still getting a little bit of second crack there. I'm really hoping my uh, a family member loves his beans. Uh, the Colombian that I'm doing is just amazing. I've uh, been getting it from uh, Happy Mug and we've been getting it like five pounds at a time and we gotta order more already. So I'm hoping uh, Everybody enjoys it, uh, and we'll come back here in a second and show you the finished product. I'm going to open the door and aid in cooling. See, there's that chaff. Okay, so there they are. Uh, a batch of roasted coffee beans. Uh, in this light, they look a little bit light um, but they are dark um, I probably could have went just a little bit longer on the roast um, these are probably uh, a full city medium uh, I don't know I'm st like I said I'm still learning still learning uh, So I might, on the next one, I might go try to go a little bit darker, uh, which I'll just have to press that C button, reset the time, listen for second crack, and let it coast in the second crack just a little bit longer. Uh, like I said, after second crack, you do not want it to go very far because they will very quickly burn the beans. So anyway, I'm glad you watched. Uh, hope you will subscribe. Um, this will be something different uh, for this channel and there may be other different things along the way. Uh, but for now, uh, I'll be doing gaming videos. Uh, so if that's your thing, hey, subscribe. Like the videos. If not, eh, whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye.